Hello. Today, uh, we're sort of integrating the two Tinkercad things that I've been doing, the circuits and the 3D models, in this uh, move circuit assembly. So uh, stick around. I'll show you soon. All right, to get to what we're working on today, you're going to log into Tinkercad. It's tinkercad.com. You can log in with your Google account. Click on Learn. Make sure you're on 3D. And then what I want you to do is click on Lessons. Projects has some cool stuff, but click on Lessons for right now. I have videos on all of these on how to make the Minecraft party glasses, the chest pawn, the ruler, the luggage tag, the tie, this. I have that and that. And I figured a lot of these were very similar. So I'm not making videos on those right now. But if you're interested and you want me to, I definitely can. Uh, the one that I'm going to work on today is Move Circuit Assembly. And I'll probably go back and make some of these as well. So we click on Move Circuit Assembly. This is already made for you. So the B is already made. It says make your bumblebee move. Now you can make your bumblebee move by switching your by turning your switch on and off. Oh, that's the end of it. Let's go back. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add the move circuit assembly to a design. When you assemble the move circuit assembly with a real electronic component like a vibration motor and switch, you create a design that jitters and moves. All right, so we can click next. Finding the circuit assemblies in the shapes panel. Circuit assemblies can be found in their own category in the shapes panel. So we click over here and we look and we'll see when they click on it, they go down to circuit assemblies. Now, if I look on here, do I see circuit assemblies? I don't see circuit assemblies. So I would imagine it's under circuits and then assemblies, right? There are components as well, but assemblies are gonna be already put together. So we chose that, continued in the next step to explore the move, okay. Well, they want us, huh. Drag the move circuit assembly into the editor. So we just drag it out. Oh, it says there's a, I'll go back to that. That's important. It says, notice how for each circuit assembly, there's a corresponding cutout. Continue the next step to explore the move circuit assembly cutout. Now that, that is important to know. It saves you a lot of time. It says the move circuit assembly on the right consists of a few different parts, a 3D printed holder in red, Okay. A vibration motor, a slide switch, and a battery. The slide switch is used to power the motor on and off, which, which will make your design move around when placed on a smooth, flat surface. So we have a switch right here. The move cutout is a special hole uh, designed to create a cavity for the move circuit assembly within a design. So they want us to drag the move circuit assembly out and drag the move cutout. You'll notice it's the same. I mean, it's not the same exact size, but it would fit. That move circuit would fit inside of it. That's perfect. All right, then we move on to our next step. Select both the move cutout and the move circuit assembly and click the align button. So you don't wanna select the B. So let's select these. And then we're going to align. And then we're going to center them. So now it's centered left to right and now we wanna center it back to front. Now it's perfectly centered. Right, so we can look and it's centered. Remember that's just a hole, so it's not gonna block anything. Move on to the next step. Let's make the bumblebee transparent to make it easier to see how the cutout and circuit assembly fit inside. So we select the bumblebee, click on the solid color in the inspector and check the transparent box. Now we can see into it, makes it a little bit easier. Now you're ready to add the move circuit assembly to the bumblebee. We'll need to ensure that there is room to access the switch on the back of the circuit assembly so you can easily turn the vibration motor on and off. So click on the top side of the view cube to make it easier to position the objects in your design. So instead of just using the mouse, what they're saying is we can just click on top. Now we see right above. Select the bumblebee, the move cutout, and the move circuit assembly. So you can just click and drag. Click the align button and align them so they are centered across the, the width of the bumblebee. So we click right here, right? And it aligns it right there. Next, align all three shapes along the back edge of the bumblebee. 
So here's the back edge of the bumblebee. And instead of clicking here to center them, I want to align it on the back edge. So I click this little circle. Now that might be hard to get. It's a very small spot that I can get. It needs to be red. Okay. Now I'll tell you right now, I see a problem. I definitely see a problem. We'll talk about it. Yep. So if we look in our picture, you'll notice that this was rotated differently. And I didn't rotate it. So there are a couple things I can do. Number one, I can click on the bumblebee. I can lock it so the bumblebee doesn't move. I can click on my assembly if I can actually get it, but I'm not seeing the ability to. So because it's inside of it. So now I need to drag that out. I need to select both of these things, right? I need to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm sorry, 180 degrees all the way around. Then I can let go. Now I can do the same thing, right? I click a line, center it together, move it to the back row. Will that work? Perfect. And then it's saying group them. So we select the bumblebee and the cutout. I made the mistake, but they said not to. So I, I hold shift and I can just click those. Now this uh, switch, the move switch, isn't connected to what we are highlighting and we can combine. And now it's just going to cut out a hole in the bumblebee. Rotate the camera to check how the cutout has created a cavity in the bumblebee that we can fit the move assembly circuit into. And it's already fit into it. That way I could 3D print it. And I wouldn't have to worry about any of this. I wouldn't have to worry about getting the perfect shape or designing my own thing. It's really nice to be able to borrow from other people that have made things. All right, so now 3D print your design. When exporting your circuit assembly, you will want to export it separately from your design. In this step, we'll export the Bumblebee and the Move Circuit Assembly individually. So select the Move Circuit Assembly and click the Export button. So we can just select that and just say export. Then it says, uh, ensure that the selected shape is selected and, okay, so we want the selected shape. And then I would do an STL. Um, that works really well for 3D printing, all right? The electronic components will not be included, right? Because electronic components can't be printed on a 3D printer. Select the bumblebee and click, so I would say STL, it would save it on my computer. Then I could select the bumblebee, I want to print that separately, STL, and then it would save it on my computer and I could print those. And then I would have the bumblebee and the move circuit. I would have to get, let's look at those components again. I would have to buy a battery. I would have to buy a motor and a switch. So after 3D printing it, you would get a vibration motor, slide switch, coin cell battery, but it would have to be all the right size. Okay. So it says find all move electronic components on SparkFun. So if we click on that, it actually has those parts. So for $5.60, you wouldn't have to find, you know, something that was the same size. You might have a CR2032. They're used in remote controls for cars and stuff uh, to unlock your car. All right. And a watch sometimes. And then it shows you how to put it together. And I think you could figure that part out. So I will not walk you through that. Um, and then when you put it together, it would vibrate and bounce around like it's alive. All right, so those are your directions. Look how cute it is, just a moment. Slides in there. Do they flip the switch for us? Let's see. Oh, they don't flip the switch, that's too bad. Maybe on the next one they flip the switch. Yep, and then look how cute it is. It bounce around on the table. All right, so that is how we do that. I hope I helped, and uh, if you know anyone that would benefit, please go ahead and share this video. See ya.